When Dad died, he had this shit log he was really proud of, before Tumblr was even a thing. And you would have thought he had just invented space travel, because he was beaming for days, going upstairs to put another post on, gotta keep my views up, son. And he would look at me, like, see, we understand each other. But I told him that no idiot in their right mind wanted to know about middle-aged running clubs. And he said, that's where you're wrong, son. That's where you're so very wrong. He'd say that a lot and try not to let me get to him because I used to like to undermine him a lot, even though I loved him. When he signed up for the London Marathon, he linked it to his Just Giving page and it was like he had landed on the moon. Mom said it was unfair, a man that fit should just drop down dead. And her friend said, it's always the ones you least suspect. And I told her to go piss off. <laughs> In my head, but uh, not out loud, because everyone stares at you really hard when it's your father's funeral. Shannon did a lot of fainting, which was annoying, and Mom kept holding my hand saying, thank you for keeping us together, and we need you to keep us all together. So I decided I wasn't going to be what they needed. Online, there are people who create Facebook pages for dead people, loved ones, relatives, pets. Mom wanted me to make a page on his blog to tell people what had happened. They need to know, she said. They're not pen pals, Mom. That's not how it works. They're just gonna think he gave up blogging for a bit. And I rolled my eyes at her for a full stop. Sometimes I did check it, just to see if he had any more views, but then I realized I was the one making the camera go up. 